welcome back to the channel. My name is Garrett Harding and I make videos right here on YouTube about how to use DaVinci Resolve and all the tools that it offers you. Today's video is going to be a little bit of a departure from the normal because we're going to be making our first video that has to do with the tools available to you in Resolve Studio, which is the paid for version of Resolve. If you don't have Resolve Studio, this might still be a good video to watch because we are going to go over some basic DaVinci skills in the video as well as you'll be able to see some of the things that will become available to you once you do upgrade to DaVinci Resolve Studio. If you are completely uninterested in anything having to do with Resolve Studio, that's okay. You can just come back tomorrow for the brand new series that I'm announcing right now, Fast Fridays. Fast Fridays are going to be a series of tutorials that are really quick, to the point, don't waste any time doing anything other than the exact thing that you're there to learn. So if that sounds awesome to you, make sure you stop by again tomorrow to see the first episode of Fast Fridays. But today, without any further ado, Let's learn how to remove objects from your videos with DaVinci Resolve Studio. Alright guys, so here we are inside of DaVinci Resolve. We've got the clip in our timeline that we're going to be removing an object from. The object of our removal's wrath today is going to be this discoloration in the wood. So the first thing we're going to want to do is check this out. It's pretty shaky. I shot it handheld with this DSLR right here. So that is not gonna do. So we need to go ahead and stabilize this. Whoop, just like that. Now if we check it out, it's smooth. It's just a twist. Where we're gonna go to actually do the object removal is the colors page. So you can either click on colors or you can press shift six to go directly to the colors page. Now that we're here, what we want to do is make a new serial node after this node here. So we're going to right click it, we're going to go to add node, and then add serial. Or again, if you want to do that a little bit quicker, shift S. Then once we get to the spot where we actually want to start the removal, which is in this case the beginning of the clip, we're going to click on our second node here, and then we're going to grab a power window. And I'm just going to use the pen tool right now, and we're going to draw around this little discoloration. Now that that is selected, you'll be able to tell because in our second window here, it's the only thing showing up. Or you can hit Shift H and it will only show you what is selected in your power window. We are going to soften the edge of that power window just a little bit and then we're going to go into the tracker. And this part's really important. So at the beginning, we have our thing inside of our power window. We're going to track that power window forward through our clip. That's where it leaves the screen. DaVinci Resolve's tracker is really good. So normally, this is a pretty smooth process. I have other videos on tracking. If you need some help with that, I'll leave some of them in the description down below. Next up, now that we have our track and it's a little smoother, all we're gonna do is come over into our library, our OFX library here, and we're gonna go ahead and scroll down until we get to Resolve FX Revival, or we can just search for object removal and then we'll go ahead and drag that onto our masked node specifically and then we're going to go ahead and hit scene analysis right here and it's going to track that forward it's going to look at what's inside of that power window and it's going to decide how best to remove it so we'll see what it came up with for the beginning here it looks like it's pretty much gone already you can see there's a slight shift in color we're looking in this area right here because that's where our red dot was. If you're having some trouble seeing it on yours, just go ahead back over into your settings here and click on Show Mask Overlay. It'll show you exactly where you're supposed to be looking. We are gonna go ahead and zoom in on that a little bit and we're gonna feather these edges a bit more on our power window. So go ahead and soften that out a bit. Not too much, otherwise it will show through and you don't want that to happen. So we are gonna zoom back out to fit and we are going to get rid of that little window marker. Then we will go ahead and hit play. You can see there's a little bit of funk that happens at the beginning, but this is a pretty complex scene for this tool. It prefers things on solid backgrounds like a wall or a road or something like that. All the wood grain here that you see is gonna be a lot more challenging for this to deal with. 
So you can either change your mask size, you can change the feather of it, you can try another scene analysis. Just play around with it a little bit until it looks clean enough for what you're doing. But if you were to watch this back, chances are really good if you don't know that you're looking for something, you're not going to see anything wrong with that clip. So that object is effectively removed and this tool only stands to get better with time because it is fairly new still. I can only imagine that they're going to be working on it and making it better and better and better for us. That's it for this tutorial. I will see you guys tomorrow for Fast Fridays.